OK, in this video, we're going to focus on one thing, how to build forms using Blackthorn donations. So we're going to show you uh, how you can generate a hosted page, but you can also use the code we auto generate to insert into an embeddable form um, to have a button on your site pop up a little in window button, otherwise known as a modal on your page to collect uh, the donation right in the page or to have uh, one click donations. So for your existing donor base, you can put in some buttons in an email template and say, you know, click here to donate, say 15 bucks. And then that will take them to a pre-filled form with all their information. All I have to do is enter the zip code. So that'll be coming in a coming video. We're also going to show you some custom question input. So we're gonna start from a blank form. This works in Salesforce Lightning, um, as well as Salesforce Classic. I'm just demoing here um, in Classic, but it works exactly the same in Lightning. So we're gonna make a new form and we're gonna go field by field so you can understand what all the fields do. Uh, if you ever wanna know what in the, any individual field does, just mouse over and you'll see the help text. So here's our test form. Now this field, what it does is that as donations get received, they automatically tally up here. So in Salesforce speak, this is called a rollup. So all of your donations that process for each individual form will sum uh, in this field. If you want your donations to relate to a campaign, or if you want the contacts that get matched uh, or that get created as a result of submitting through the campaign, uh, I'm sorry, th submitting through the form, those can get added as campaign members uh, related to this campaign. You can route your payments through uh, different bank accounts per uh, donation form. So this is using Payment360 or Blackthorn Payments as it now is uh, on the back end. And if you have different uh, bank accounts within your organization or different entities, you can just list uh, each different gateway uh, per form and the donation will route through that particular uh, Stripe account. The transaction description, this will end up in the description field uh, on the uh, transaction object, as well as appearing on the uh, statement for your donor uh, as to where they're donating along with your organization name. So our form has three different steps. Each step has different options. Um, in the first and second step, you can put in custom questions, which I'll show you as soon as we're done saving this form. On here, we include uh, a lot of defaulted type of things that you would want for controls. So we're going to say that we want um, all of our amounts to be reflected in whichever particular currency you'd like. We support all of Stripe's uh, 130 plus currencies. We can set the frequency to be uh, both monthly, uh, one time, um, or both types of frequencies at once. You can accept one or both. So we're going to say both. For the amount page layout, you can say it can be uh, a toggle type of layout or a stacked layout. So we'll show you toggle and then we'll come back and show you stacked. Let's say we want monthly by default. We want the toggle to be on the bottom. We want the amounts to be ascending. And whoops, this is a required field. Let me go ahead and put in a gateway. So this is a test gateway we've set up. Uh, we want to show our amounts uh, descriptions, and I'll show you what that is when we go to add amounts. Let's say we want to allow custom amounts for both types of frequencies, uh, a minimum amount of five bucks. The pre-selected amount we set after we add our form amounts. For our monthly and short descriptions, this can add a little um, tagline below monthly or short description. So here's the monthly, and here's the one-time description. So on the donor information, let's make everything be optional. You could hide these if you didn't want to require them uh, or, or include them, but let's make employer optional to show you, or I'm, I'm sorry, required to show you what that looks like. On our checkout, you can then ask the donor to cover the processing fee. Um, you can hide this, you can make it unchecked, or uh, you can make it checked. Let's put in a processing fee of 3.5%. This might vary based upon a number of circumstances. You can also put in a fixed amount if you wanted that to tack on to your percentage. You can uh, mark the CAPTCHA required, the CVV and the postal code as well. Now for the form settings for the color, you can add any type of hex color as well as writing in the name of the color if you'd like. So let's go ahead and make the form color be blue. And then let's say the secondary color, this is the overall theme. Let's say that we want the theme to be black and I'll come back and show you what it looks like um, if you set it to white. After the form submission, you can say if you wanna show a success message or a redirect uh, to like a completed or a successful type of page. So let's show a success message. message. So then you can also opt to automatically send a receipt and for the opportunity that gets created from either the one-time donation or the immediate 
a donation that's processed from a recurring donation, you can set the uh, stage of that opportunity. So we'll say it's closed one. Now, if you're using our embedded form or our pop-up button, you can skip the next two sections. If you want to use our hosted page, go ahead and fill these out. So let's say the form uh, is going to be on the right. The content block is going to fit all the content vertically. So no matter how big it is, we'll extend the size of the block. Uh, we're going to um, automatically generate this hosted page URL as soon as we save this record. So just leave this blank. The logo placement, we're going to place a logo on the top right. Now, our page is based in HTTPS, so just like Salesforce, you see the HTTPS here. When you have your logo URL, you also need to host it in HTTPS as well as your background. If you don't have it hosted that way, it's super easy to add it. You go to the Salesforce Documents tab, and then you click New to add a new one. Just make sure you mark it externally available and you put it in a folder other than My Personal Documents. Choose the file, save, and then after you save, that will then uh, add the image and we just right click and do copy image address and we paste that into the logo URL field. Now, if someone clicks that, maybe we want them to head over to a certain uh, site. So we'll enter that here. And now the background image URL, let's go ahead and put that in as well. Let's get a nice little banner in there. Okay, and if you want to do background gradients, you can set the gradient uh, flow uh, in the way that your um, colors will shift. And you can also set the colors and the opacity if you wanted to add uh, gradients. Uh, you can go ahead and put in the title. So here's the page title, and here's a great subtitle. For the content, you can uh, just copy and paste images directly into this block. We support some of the rich text options, and we're extending this uh, as time goes on. So here's a uh, content block example. Oops. All right. And now we'll add some footer text, literally. And then our form code and button code, these automatically generate as soon as we save the record. If you have a Google Analytics tracking ID, you just paste uh, the ID only uh, into this field, not the whole um, block that they give you, and then save the record. So now we've generated our form, and if we just clicked on the link, we can go ahead and see it. But let's go ahead and add in some form amounts. So let's say we want to take um, 19 bucks as the uh, greatest impact and we want that only to appear on monthly based uh, donations. Uh, so let's go ahead and add in some other amounts. Let's say we'll take 27 bucks and we'll say um, this is a fantastic amount and we'll put that just on one time. And then maybe we'll do uh, 10 bucks uh, on both. Um, helps us out. All right, so now we'll go into our form and let's add some custom questions. So you add each question as a new record and the questions can be added to either the first step or the second step. So let's go ahead and put this one on the first step and let's say um, uh, in memory honor of. And let's say this is a text box because we want someone to type into it. And then you can map where the field goes. So maybe this maps to uh, a contact, for instance. And you just um, copy paste the API name of the field. So if you wanted something to go into the contacts description, for example, you can say contact description or any custom field that you have that would have the underscore C on there. So let's go ahead and save. And then let's also add another question onto the first step. Um, of an example pick list. And let's say we have a pick list field, and this is required, and we want to add um, test one, test two, test three, and test three is our default. So we'll click save. And let's add a, a question onto step two for personal information. And let's map this to uh, an opportunity field, for instance. Um, opportunity uh, hypothetical field. Okay, so let's say that this is a checkbox, um, a great check by default. And we'll set this uh, to checked by default. And let's hide these and let's save. So now we've done a whole bunch of stuff rather fast. Let's go see what all this stuff looks like. 
So we click on our hosted page URL to go and view our form. And now we have our logo in the top right with the hyperlink. We have our banner. We have our page title. Um, this is all responsive, by the way. So if you wanted to pull this up on any device, you would be able to see it then. You have our block. Uh, you'll notice the theme is in black. We have our custom questions. And no, none of the questions, uh, none of the amounts are opted by default. Uh, so let's go ahead and change that. So let's take one of our amounts and say we want our $19 monthly to be default pre-selected. And let's say we wanted to change our theme to white and let's change our form color um, to green. It's my favorite color. I don't know if it's going to go very well with blue, but you know, let's see what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and refresh. So now we have a white theme with our green on blue that looks a little funky, but we have our uh, defaulted $19 um, amount. So let's fill this out. So here's a uh, test name. We could toggle this over to one time or monthly. And I actually want to show you one more thing what the stacked layout looks like. So in our amounts, when you have the toggle uh, amount, let's go to, to stacked and let's set this to monthly first. And let's save. And now let's go back to our form and click refresh. If this was an embedded embedded form or a uh, pop-up button, this embedded portion would just automatically refresh on your screen. And to get that into your page, all you do is add this uh, embeddable form code block. For the donate uh, button code, we have a little bit more code you can add on our help doc um, to make the script uh, work uh, properly. But um, on the form, it's pretty simple. For your web dev, it'd probably take them less than five minutes in order to insert this code. Now, once we have our form, let's go ahead and fill this out. So let's put in a test name. We'll go next. And let's fill out some basic information here rather quickly. Just filling in our test information. Postal code. Is that a lot of digits? Yep. Put in New York. And let's put in... Let's go ahead and do New York also. Now you'll notice the employer is required. So we put in our test and let's make this test. And here's our checkbox by default. We'll go next and we'll put in the name on the card. We'll use a special test card number and we can't put in 2015 because there's informed validation. So we can only put in a proper year and let's put in the postal code. Let's say we're not a robot and I swear I'm not a robot and we go ahead and submit. So now it processes the payment. It does the payment processing in real time to Stripe and the customer would be able to see that um, immediately. So then if we go back to uh, Salesforce, if we go to our form submission, you'll then see uh, we have a form submission record that was created. So here's the record that was created. This uh, runs on a batch every five minutes to automatically insert the Salesforce records. So if someone donates, you won't see it for up to five minutes. This will automatically um, create a contact with a household if it doesn't match on an existing contact. It will create uh, an opportunity uh, for a one-time donation. It'll create a recurring donation record with a series of opportunities for uh, monthly based donations. And it does all of the um, Salesforce side logic of Payment360 also. So it'll create the payment method record, it'll create the uh, transaction, and it'll create your Stripe customer. And we also mirror the payments object. So you don't lose any functionality with soft or hard credits or roll ups or anything like that. Uh, so we hope you enjoyed our demo. Um, please contact us at hi uh, plus donations at blackthorn.io if you have any questions. Thanks.